Uh, welcome. Welcome to uh, tonight's, uh, well, Coffin Club live stream, actually. We're not doing bootleg cinema. We're not doing, uh, well, bootleg arcade. We're, we're doing a different type of bootleg. Tonight we're doing, well, nothing bootleg at all. Tonight we're going to celebrate the New Year's doing something, eh, kind of edutainment ish I don't know we're good we're going uh, let just hear me out let, let me explain here let me explain tonight we're going to be looking at a social experiment from 2001 that I even partaked in back in the day that was called Cybertown and Cybertown back in 2001 was a uh, I don't know if you guys know what this is but it was what you call a chat room. Well, pretty much what we have here on Twitch. Cybertown was kind of like Twitch. But it was a place where hundreds of people would gather in, in a virtual world. All free, via browser, by the way. And you would just talk and chit-chat and engage. And the city had different districts. And it was all done via through dial-up slash DSL internet. And it, it was this magical place. Well, now, you know, with shit like PlayStation Home and stuff that shit is already outdated by this point, as of me speaking. You know, it, it's already been there, done that. But at, at the time, this world was literally people's world. At the time, this was everything. To some people in 2001 this was their social interaction this was their hub and, and it's crazy to think that you know people just uh, like myself get off after school go on to fucking cyber town and check it out you know well luckily for us uh, I'm gonna give you guys a tour uh, I want to see what I do remember there are some key locations I do want to check out that I do remember that I think will be fun for stream so Today for stream, we're going on a we're going on a fucking digital field trip. We're going to fucking Cybertown, so get hype. I get I guess um, I guess get hype. I, I don't I don't know what what else to to fucking say, but uh, yeah, as always, tonight's uh, broadcast is brought to you by me, and if you want to help support me and keep us motivated and keep this beautiful beautiful uh, stream afloat uh, all you have to do is follow or if you're on YouTube like and subscribe but on that note I'm ready to hop in to this beautiful I'm already logged in I actually had to create a new account I actually had to create two accounts because for some reason there's a glitch you can't re log in I, I don't know so I have it just perma logged in at this point, we already have it hooked up. We're, we're going to go to the big screen here in a moment. So we're, we're going to switch on over to me in the big screen. Oh no, I'm getting sucked into the internet. Like and subscribe. Bam, here we are. Wow. Wow. That is my whole ass fucking desktop. All right, right now, we are in what's known as the plaza. We're not really in the plaza yet. We're, we're not... We're in the 2D. We want the 3D space. We're loading it. We're, we're, we're currently loading up the cyberspace. I might actually crop a little bit of this out so we can get more of the actual experience because y'all don't really care about the tabs portion. So yeah, I'm going to do some janky ass bullshit. Boom. Alright. All right, now we're in Cybertown. This is the city hall. This is like the main district of Cybertown. You got Beam Station down there. Oh yeah, I forgot. This place is so fucking janky to crawl around. Hold on. Welcome to the plaza. Alright. She's been moping around here like a lost puppy. What the fuck? By the way, wow. There are currently nine people in the plaza. Nine people in the plaza. I'm just chilling around here. I want to see who's actually around here oh my god I'm surprised there's anybody actually 
in this world. I wonder if anybody's actually in the 3D part of the world, because that's where I am. I have no idea what my avatar looks like. Don't really care. Don't really care. Well, we're going into the lower districts. Yeah, this is Cybertown. This was a digital city. There's advertisements. Hi, I'm Mina. Click me and be a part of the future. Yeah, yeah. It, it, this was... This was some crazy-ass shit back in the day. Hold on, we're turning around here. I'm surprised there's nobody in here. It, it says there's nine people in the plaza right now. Y'all can't see that because my... Alright, hold on. City Mayor, smile. Using the call-in deputy. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, let me explain some rules. We are currently in, actually in a virtual dystopia. I am not kidding. This is a capitalistic society that we're currently in. Um, instead of banning you, like all the uh, modern media does, they will actually physically throw us in jail. So if I say anything cancelable, I am currently... Well, technically I'm an immigrant. Oh god. There's something going on in the future. What's going on? I heard it. I heard it. Alright, I'm going to be uh, cordial and uh, see what the, the locals have to say. I said, uh, hello folks. Hopefully that will be enough to uh, keep the, the locals not angry at me. Hey there. Alright, I'm going to say Happy New Year. Happy future New Year. Alright, Magic Quest is being super nice to us. So we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna browse around. We don't have to say anything else. We're, we're in town. Okay, we can physically just go what is this? Where are we? To Fun Park? Alright, we're actually going into Fun Park. Holy shit. Sadly, the door links didn't work, but don't worry. I got some help with the admin, and now I know how to use the map function. Let's go to the map. Fun Park, City Hall, Library... Let's, let's try the Fun Park. I want to see what's so great about the digital fucking Fun Park. Oh my god. We're the only ones here in the Fun Park. Okay, this is cool. We ain't got weird digital people to talk to. Hold on. I know that audio is going to be terrible. I got to get my headphones in so I can experience it. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're we're not dealing with that loud ass audio. I'm turning that shit down. Okay. All right. Now we're at Fun Park. We're the only people currently at Fun Park. Uh, what do we got here? Can we look up? I'm actually, no. All right. Apparently, we're not able to actually look up, but we're appears to be a digital can I interact with this or will it just like clip through me oh yeah it's just it just it's just not real none of this well the trees look a little bit better than I remember I will give it that after looking around this very large empty space I was soon fell with the sense of melancholy I couldn't help to think about the large groups of people who would gather here and gossip. But, to my surprise, I found something, well, a working link, which I didn't think was possible in the world of Cybertown. To pool! Click here. Alright, let's go to the pool. Ooh, we're at the pool. When I arrived to the pool area, I couldn't help but be amazed by the crude but yet elaborate geometry which made the area. I found it to be almost comforting in the fact that I could almost see the cringy conversations that would unfold here at the pool side. Man, this is crazy. This is actually way bigger than you see. Like, look, check it out. The role-playing which was in very abundant in the early 2000s, which would mostly occur in these. People would just spend hours upon hours just living their virtual lives, just disassociating into the wonderful world that is Cybertown. As you see, I managed to navigate my way through uh, a, a watery slide and only to 
to progress to get stuck in the water for a, a, a good amount of time. So uh, let's skip to the, the the next area, which proved to be a task more daunting than I expected. Unfortunately, on the map interface, a lot of the locations I wanted to go for the field trip were not available. The Cyberhood? How come we don't have access to the Cyberhood? Oh, coming soon. Wait a minute, why is the Cyberhood shut down? That was like one of the main locations we were supposed to go to. But I'll find out later there is another way behind that. But until then, I had to make a choice. And there was only one to make. Go to the mall. We'll check out the mall. Oh, now we're here. We're officially in the Cybertown Mall, okay. To say the Cybertown Mall is interesting would be an understatement. Back in the early 2000s, this place was not only a place of purchasing physical items, such as eBay links as clicking certain stores, but also was able were the place where you're able to find new clothing for your avatar or, well, even your fellow avatars. This was, well, the Mall of the Future. A lot of people saw this as a, another way of, once again, a way of communicating and camaraderie and doing, well, things you couldn't do in the physical space with people from, well, long distances, well, across the world even. Uh, matter of fact, if there was something like this implemented during quarantine, we probably would have loved this. Which is kind of sad looking back at this and what the physical state of our real malls and our real world are at. It, it almost is a, a parallel of, well, this one itself. I personally love to frequent this back when I used to use this app, or do I even call it an app? Yeah, that's not the point. I would actually frequent the mall a lot back in my youth using Cybertown and Honestly, it, it, it's still kind of jarring just roaming about this open, open, empty space, but luckily for us, there's more to explore in Cybertown. Alright, once again, we are alone in the theater. You know what? Let's actually explore, man. Come on. Let's actually explore. Here we go. This must be the lobby. We might actually have to do some town investigating to see how we can get access into the cyberhood. Because I know for a fact there's admins walking around right now celebrating the new year. So we're 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 we're, we're looking around Cybertown. Damn, there's like nobody in this virtual city. Well, there is, but they're all in the plaza for some fucking reason. The fact that people still use this as a way to just chat with weirdos is fucking crazy, but why doesn't anybody use the 3D interface? This is fucking... Dude, for 2001, this is kind of fucking impressive. To just be a free thing that we just used on a, on a web browser. This is fucking ridiculous. This isn't forced perspective 3D graphics. This is like genuine. It's crazy. It's a crazy fucking stage. I wonder if I, how far back we can go into the stage. And how much they bother to, to render anything. What do we got here? Oh god, we're able to climb. the fuck? Alright, this is the main stage area, right? We're, we're on the main stage. Apparently there's a way to get up... Oh, there is. There's a staircase you can get up on the top. Dude, people probably put on, like, digital shows here back in the day, man. I wouldn't be fucking surprised. Holy shit. And this is like an ancient civilization we're exploring, people. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? 
We're in the green room. We're in the backstage area. Dude, there's... Whoa, there's art. Holy fucking shit, there's art. Hold on. Let's take a look at this. Right, yeah, let's back up. Let's back up. To my surprise, I found a massive green room, which was neatly adorned with opera-themed posters and, of course, seating for, well, at the time, expected talent to take their presence on the stage. I knew then I had to get access to the other spots, the other spots that meant so much to me in the past. City Stadium? Cafe? Uh, uh, you know what? Let's go to City Hall and complain. Because I have a feeling the mayor's on online. This is this is Cybertown City Hall. We made it. Oh god, I'm over knocking over shit. Mr. Cybertown Mayor, I wish to wish to make a complaint. So just like in real life, my angry entitled ass made my way through the virtual city hall into the main structure, dead ass into the middle to voice my complaints about being, well, banned or not having access to my beloved locations. I'm gonna give a speech here in Cybertown. I'm in the main area surrounded so therefore I have the main floor and I'm gonna say I demand all cyber town <laughs> all cyber town folk to have Wait, I have no idea, dude. I'm so fucking high, I'm not gonna lie. Which led to, well, no one giving a fuck. But my, but my efforts still persist. And persisted they did. And thanks to my efforts, I managed to get a hold of the admin, Magic Quest, who was hosting the New Year's Eve event that was happening at the time and he showed me that I was being a moron and did not know how to use the jump tab which all I had to do was click that and select the desired location and I would instantly be zapped to it well in knowing that I tend to look at many locations and that I did and my next location was kind of a lackluster one it was the post office which I found kinda weird because why would you need a post office for a virtual world? I guess to sort emails? Which was even more unnerving, the fact that I was met with an NPC just standing there blankly at me. And Long story short, we had to get the fuck out. Our next stop was one that held very near and dear to my heart. A place that I frequented the most. We're, we did it. I managed to get us to the cyberhood. Alright. See, we didn't, need, we didn't need those fucking nerds anyways. Look, look, we got us here. Holy shit. Mostly, I don't know if it was due to the cool edgelord aesthetic or the 90s core and me that just loved the dreary post-apocalyptic setting, but this was my number one hangout. I can vividly remember spending Saturday nights hanging out with my boys Julio and Chris on the chat room, just hanging out at the bar, and honestly, man, this is just a trip, so I just want to let this footage play, because this is pure nostalgia for me, or at least as close as I can get on an internet based way oh god this is this is it this is the bar oh the fucking weird crash bandicoot music again now I know what the fuck those dipshits were talking about yeah it's still here and here it was 
As I sat there reflecting around all the many conversations I had in this very minimal space, in a weird way I felt connected to it. I felt like maybe those weren't lost in time, but they were captured here in this very awkward polygonal space. So, as I browsed around and roamed throughout the derelict ruins, which is known as my beloved cyberhood, I realized it was time to go and check out all the many other sites that Cybertown still has left to see. Well, after feeling rejuvenated with the power of nostalgia, I was a new doc. I was an adventurous doc. So, of course, I decided to stop by real quick to Adventureland, and, well, there was no actual adventure to be had, but... What is this? Okay. Th this is the adventure world, okay. But then, me looking for some fun, I went to the arcade, which also proved very fruitless. The future stage. Oh, it is. It is like a future stage. Okay. But what's this have to do with an arcade? Or is this like... I don't know what any of this is. Jesus fucking Christ. But I wanted to at least do something before I left, so I decided to end the stream, well, enjoying the new year with a sunrise. Or sunset. I really can't tell in these polygonal shapes. This is paradise for somebody, I guess. Just a fucking dolphin out there, dude. Oh my god, look how far that fucking... shit goes back. And that wraps up our amazing trip to Cybertown. As you may have noticed, there's probably a lot of locations that we went to that you didn't get to see, which if you wanted to see that, you should have been on our Twitch page, which, you know, the link is in our bio, so don't worry if you're feeling left out. And, uh, yeah, if you're curious about Cybertown, it is currently up and running, thanks to Cybertown Revisited, which the link will be located below in the description. <laughs> On that note, that's all we got to do. Uh, that's all. That, that we're done. We're done. We're wrapped up. But if you're wanting some more Dr. McNasty, there's clearly some videos for you available. And if you can't wait for the next one, well, you're just going to have to because our next one is involving the paranormal. <laughs> but on that note, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm Doc, and uh, I'm going to go get some rest. Bye.